Hello and welcome to this video. I want to show you today um, this Basi Euro Cylinder and the elephant is the logo of the company Basi, which is a German company. Um, they advertise with the elephant like um, it's elephant secure, something like that. And here we have uh, a Euro Cylinder, Basi Euro Cylinder. Works pretty good on both sides. Um, and I was quite happy when I received it because uh, the bidding is, is really interesting, as you can see. So I, I picked it and um, I gutted it. It has uh, two spools and so nothing special. But when I dumped out the, the springs, the big surprise came because, as you can see, two springs have metal balls in it. So, the two stacks with the standard pins have uh, springs with, with metal balls. And I've never seen that before. So I was thinking what this might be good for. And the only um, impact in my eyes that this could have to an opening attack um, of this lock is, uh, is bumping. So I was thinking maybe it is a bumping countermeasure. So you could think of, uh, yeah, two balls, two moving masses. If you if you bump it, then those um, those balls uh, come into motion and they get reflected from 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 the one side and bounce to the other side, and so they disturb. So maybe they disturb the the concert of the of the of the moving driver pins and change the timing behavior. So this could be uh, a countermeasure. I don't know. To find out if this really um, affects the bumping um, resistance, I changed the, um, the spring configuration. So here we have the original spring configuration. So springs with, with the balls in it. And here we have uh, no, no balls. I changed, I exchanged two, um, the two springs with the balls by just normal springs. And I've made myself a bump key. So here is the outcome, the result of, um, of my work. It's not too beautiful, I know. What I did is I used one of the uh, um, multiple keys that I got for this lock and I filed down um, every cut to uh, the deepest level, or maybe even deeper, I don't know, um, and only a little bit um, remained fr from from the actual uh, key material, just enough to to hit the pin when I beat the the key inside the inside the lock, and I also um, filed around here at this at the shoulder and attached a spring. So now when I insert the, the key, it doesn't go in all the way. So it's one click away from being all the way in. And for the last click, I have to move it against the spring tension and it comes out automatically again. So if I constantly hammer to this, to this head here, I can, I can turn it and I don't have to pull it out again for the next uh, attempt. So that's very handy. And yeah, it's the first time for me that I made a, a bump key and I had to test a little bit. And so, uh, yeah, you can see I tested quite uh, quite a lot of time um, and I had um, I bumped this quite many times. So it um, shows a little bit of um, deformation. Anyhow, um, I will go downstairs and test both sides. Uh, yeah, because it's late and I don't want to disturb someone here. Um, yeah, I will be back just in a minute. All right, I'm downstairs to not disturb someone, as I said, when I hammer at this lock at night. Here is my nice bump key, as you can see. Show you here on my t-shirt. Um, both sides are locked up. 
The long side is the modified one where I removed the special springs and I have only standard springs here at that side. I will bump that first and I've uh, protected my palm here against, uh, yeah, against the impact of the hammer attack. So yeah, it hurts a little bit after, after a while when I uh, constantly hammer to that lock and I did a lot of uh, testing with my bump keys, so yeah, just to protect myself a little bit. Okay, so as I showed you, it's locked up. And can I show you this? Or maybe that way? Oh, that was fast on the first attempt. Cool. Uh, yeah, um, didn't expect that, as I said. Um, <laughs> <laughs> cool. Let's see if that goes again. Of course not. So that's the normal uh, behavior when I when I try to open it. <laughs> okay, it's open again. So let's try the other side. The short one with the two stacks uh, having the special springs with the metal balls inside. Okay. Oops, maybe this way. <laughs> and open again. So, closed up. Yeah. It's not a big difference between those. Actually, I don't see any difference. Sometimes this is faster, sometimes that. So, well, I don't know what these metal balls are good for. They actually do not serve as a bump protection. So let's go upstairs and uh, got it. Now I have to go to the telephone. Hold on. Okay, so everything is prepared for the gutting. I have uh, picked the short side here. Now I insert the pinning shoe. Next I will remove the clip. Stack one is the uh, all standard pins, but a spring with two balls. Then we have stack two, um, a, a spool and uh, a normal spring. Then stack three, all normal uh, pins, but the spring with the two balls. Then stack four is a stack with uh, a spool. And last but not least, we have um, number five. It is a just a normal stack with standard pins and standard spring. Okay, so that was the Basi Euro Cylinder Lock with um, very unique um, springs with balls all right thanks for watching happy picking bye bye